All right, Shalom. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekai, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who we will. Peace and salutation to you, brothers, of Fleck, with his word and truth and sincerity. All right, um, this video here is, it all starts with the fear of the Lord. Okay, it all starts with the fear of the Lord. So, righteousness begins with the fear of the Lord. Wisdom begins with the fear of the Lord. Uh, understanding begins with the fear of the Lord. Knowledge and wisdom, all it all begins with the fear of the Lord. In order to understand uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, in order to understand the power in which we serve, it all starts with the fear. You have to learn to fear Him first. Okay, that fear is that first step in order to, in order to gain the knowledge of Him, or to gain an understanding of Him. Okay, because when you get this thing, you know you first. You know, you, you, you first hear about uh, who we are as a nationality, as a nation of people, you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, or Israelites. Okay, you, so then you, uh, then you get the understanding of what we done, how we went off, how we offended the Lord, okay, how we offended our power, the wicked acts in which we've done, okay, then once you realize that, then you get to the, uh, the fear aspect of it, of okay, through all, all these wicked acts that we've done, all the things that are, have come upon us that the Lord has brought upon us is, you know, is uh, it shows you his power and what he can do and what he will do. OK, so so then you begin to fear him. And along with that fear, I always say this fear. Uh, so like I always say respect is a byproduct of fear. OK, because when you fear the Lord, you uh, you learn to respect. Him, OK. Not, not as in fear, and which I mean, actually, I mean, we we should we, I mean, understanding who who the power is and what he can do, we can you know be fear as in trembling because, hey, Lord can do anything and we we are subject to it, but also more importantly, the fear as in a respect aspect of it. Okay, you Lord, you asked us, you know, you you asked us certain things of us, a certain standard of us, so thus out of that level of respect for you, I'm going to try my best to do it. Okay, that's that. It all starts with fear, though. Okay, and so I want to grab a, a couple of scriptures. This is a uh, Proverbs chapter twenty-three, verse twenty-two. It says, "Hearken unto thy father," which means listen. Okay, that begat thee, and despise not thy mother when she is old. Okay, so it's somebody, of course, a righteous. Righteous man, you know, you listen to your father, you know, that when boys you came through, especially if uh, he's a righteous man of, he, of of your father's fearing of the Lord, okay, despise not your mother when she gets old, because once again, your mother is, uh, is, is, is joined unto your father, okay, but even, even in a spiritual aspect, the heavenly father, uh, the most high, he has be, begotten us, okay, or, or the only begotten of the Father is uh, Yahweh Shai, but we are joint heirs with him. We are also sons, uh, you know, with him, you know, with Yahweh Shai. And uh, then it says, this, so, you know, that's the most high is our father also. Then it says, despise not thy mother when she is old. And, uh, you know, our mother is that wisdom. Okay? Despise not wisdom. So you hearken, un you hearken unto the wisdom. Or you hearken unto your father, you cleave unto wisdom, and you seek it out. Okay? <clears throat> this is Proverbs chapter 6, verse 20. My son, keep thy father's commandment, and forsake not the law of thy mother. There it is again. Okay? Uh, the, the way in which the righteous man, which which would be a father, if he's a righteous man, the way in which he instructs you, don't forsake him. You know what I'm saying? Because he is going to be instructing you in the ways of Yahweh Shem al Okay? And forsake not the law of the mother. Okay? And, and even in a spiritual sense, once again, going into that commandment of the Heavenly Father and, uh, and that uh, forsake not the law of thy mother, which once again goes to wisdom or Sophia, and uh, once again, that that law is give it gives you the understanding, you know, it gives you that wisdom of how to move, you know, how to move, how to conduct yourself, you know, and so that's what that's where that mother, that's where that wisdom comes into play. All right. And 
And ultimately, this is our whole duty here. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Okay. Fear the Most High and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. That's what we're here for. We're literally here to fear the Lord and keep his commandments. All that, whatever you decide you want to be, uh, I'm just say be when you grow up. Whatever you decide for a career or to establish yourself here, whatever, all that means absolutely nothing. Okay. Once again, you know, it's, it's an easy thing to the Lord to make a poor man rich and a rich man poor. Okay, it's an easy thing to the Lord to bring you from the top to the bottom and from the bottom to the top. It's an easy thing for the Lord to do anything. So, therefore, those things don't matter. It's, it's the, the most important thing is to fear him and to serve him and to keep his commandments. Okay? <clears throat> this is Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Okay? So, before you can obtain wisdom, you have to, you have to fear the Lord. Okay? Because the fear of him is the beginning of wisdom. Okay? And the knowledge of, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Okay? And you have to understand how to apply that wisdom. Okay? Wis well, wisdom is knowledge applied. Okay? Psalm chapter 111 verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Here it is again. A good understanding has all they that do his commandments. His praise endure forever. And this is actually very evident. Notice that it says a good understanding have all they that do his commandments. Why? Because when you when you uh when you try to keep the commandments of the Lord or, or really basically to do what's pleasing unto the Lord, he'll open up that understanding for you to understand the proper way to do things, the righteous order, the righteous way of things. Okay, this is why when you talk to people in the world, they have no earthly clue or no idea that what they're doing is really offending the Lord. They have no, uh, they, they think it's okay. Okay, they think it's okay to accept, you know, backdoor. They think, they think it's okay to accept sodomy. They think it's okay to accept Autobots and Transformers. Okay? Okay? They think it's okay to be accepting of the things here, but it's really not. They think it's the, 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 the wrong way is the right way, and the right way is the wrong way. Okay? But the fear of the Lord will teach you what's right and what's wrong. But once again, it says a good understanding of all they that do his commandments. Okay? And his praise and do it forever. Because when you attempt to serve the Lord and do what's right in his eyes, he'll lead you into, into the proper understanding of things. Okay? This Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and destruction. Okay? So there it is again. So you gotta so it all once once again, you gotta fear the Lord to gain wisdom, you have to fear the Lord to gain knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. And we see that there on a daily basis. When you come out and tell these people well, you know what's what's coming or what's going on or, or what's to come or the reason why things are the way they are, they sh they they shun you. They don't care. They don't want to hear it. They despise it. Okay, they despise this wisdom and this instruction. They despise the right way of things. They prefer the wrong way. All right. This Job chapter 28, verse 28. And unto man, he said, behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. So, and to depart from evil is understanding. Once again, wisdom is not uh, wisdom is knowledge applied. So uh, you you have a great understanding of how to evade, or as as a um, matter of fact, how as it states in Job chapter one, verse one, there was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job, 
And that man was perfect and upright and one that feared the Most High, one that feared the Most High and eschewed evil. Why? So he feared the Lord and through his fear of the Lord, he avoided evil or he eschewed evil. Okay, he went out of the way of evil. He did not go in the direction of which evil was. Okay, but the fear of the Lord will teach you that. The fear of the Lord will teach you to get out of the way of evil, to, to, to go in a different direction, to not go that way. Okay. So we got the fear of the Lord be, uh, being wisdom and the fear of the Lord be, being uh the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Okay? This is uh, Sirach chapter 25, verse 12. It says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of his love, and faith is the beginning of cleaving unto him. Alright? So, so now we got the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, and the fear of the Lord is the beginning of love. And what is love? The keeping of the commandments. Do it, do, keep, you know. Do what's pleasing unto the Lord. Like I said, the keeping of the commandments. Okay? That's what the true love is. So, so once again, in order to fear the Lord, or in order to even gain his love, you got to fear him. It all starts with that fear. But it says, faith is uh, the beginning of cleaving unto him. And if you have faith in Yahweh Shem Shai, you have faith in the Lord, you have faith that this word is true, then you'll cleave unto him. How do you cleave unto him? By doing what he's simply doing what he says do. Okay? Doing what's instructed of you. Doing what's expected of you. Okay? These expectations in which we have. Alright? Uh, this last one here. Sirach chapter 19 verse 18. The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him. And wisdom obtaineth his love. So it all come it all comes together. If you got the fear of the Lord, you got wisdom, you'll gain wisdom, you'll gain knowledge, you'll gain understanding, and you'll gain his love. Okay? It all but it all starts with the fear of the Lord. This is why it says the fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him. Because the Lord ain't gonna accept you if you don't fear him. And because if you don't fear him, you're not going to respect him. And if you don't respect him, you're not going to do what's being asked of you. Okay? If you for damn sure can't serve the Lord if you don't fear him. You for damn sure can't serve the Lord if you don't respect him. And you can't serve the Lord if you don't care about what he wants. Okay? That's why I say that it all starts with the fear. Because once again, if you fear, you respect him. I give you example even of me speaking from personal experience. Okay, my dad, you know, I have a certain level of respect for my dad. Okay? Because he instilled a certain level of fear in me when I was younger and even still to this day I still have a a great a, a certain level of respect for that man you know what I'm saying so but once again it all started from fear and that's the same way the Heavenly Father does us okay it all starts from fear and then respect is a byproduct of fear okay but once again the fear of the Lord is the first step to being accepted of him and wisdom obtaineth his love. All right. So remember, it all starts with the fear of the Lord. So call all your how about Shema Shah, about Shema Kadash. Hope we edified. Shalom.